Hello and welcome to Coffee and Bonsai with Tom. Um, this is another plant, uh, another Portulacaria afra. I'm going to call this one DW2. Um, it's kind of an interesting composition. I got um, this pot um, off of Etsy. I'll put um, the information in, in the video details about where you can find the person that makes this, but I believe it was made, um, I bought several pots from me. It's great, interesting pots. And uh, this one in particular I like because it sort of looks like a mountain and it has these um, um, areas where you can plant your trees, right? Now this is, this is a very small pot. Let me get the coffee cup there. So you can see the whole, I mean the whole plant is like one cup high. Uh, so it's not very big. Um, and I put it actually inside another pot, uh, this one, because th this, there's a very small amount of soil in here. And in fact, I planted most of these in, um, particularly you can see uh, this one here. Uh, you know, it's like a, it's like a thumbnail. <laughs> you know, there's like from that up amount of soil in there, very little soil. So uh, it's almost pure, um, actual soil in order to maintain some kind of moisture um, even with my uh, internal lights. So this one has to be watered you know fairly often to keep them happy but they're you know they're growing quite well. I believe these have been in here I did this um, last fall and this specific um, type of portulacaria is um, the uh, lilliput so really tiny leaves you can see um, they're really small and super compact growth. And this is really an interesting variety because it grows very quickly. I just recently um, pruned this. Let me adjust this a little bit and we can uh, zoom in on the tree a little more. Um, but yeah, I just recently pruned this. We'll do a spin around so you can get a complete look at it. You can see my dragons, which are guarding uh, you know, guarding Lilliput Mountain. Um, but, you know, I really like this pot because it's sort of, uh, it was small, which I was looking for something small, and I like that it's sort of a mountain piece, and it's sort of like, you know, an interesting take on a forest because you can plant multiple trees in a sort of a mountain composition uh, without having to do root over rock, which I don't have anything against, but I think that can be... Um, difficult with uh with portulacaria but yeah i really i really like this one let me see i'll do a little got a leaf probably from when i was pruning before um and like i said uh due to the watering i actually ended up putting it in this this um this is actually a, just sort of a shallow japanese pot which i've had forever um and it works really well, I think, because uh, initially, as I said, I just had this on its own, and it does have drainage holes in the bottom. Uh, very hard to keep it wet, so then I had it uh, with some of my other um, mame-sized trees. I mean, this whole tree, as you can see, they're 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 small. Um, so. Uh, you know, in order to keep them alive, I had just this in sort of a regular sort of deep two inch pot or something. Um, and, you know, that worked really well. Uh, but, you know, they're kind of hard to to prune in that case, right? And I sort of wanted this to be its own tree. So I found this pot and uh, hello, Mabel, good, good dog. And, uh, and I decided to put it in there and it's great because the roots, um, you know, I periodically pull this out of here and um, trim the roots, but the roots, you know, they're drain holes in the bottom here and they kind of find their way down into this soil. And, you know, it makes watering a lot, you know, easier once the roots get down there and it gets established. Um, it's quite easy to keep it alive. Uh, so let's have another spin around more slowly. Um, like I said, uh, I will put links to um, this pot uh, maker and you can check out. He doesn't have a lot of these available. I've only seen them come up one other time. But I really enjoy them and maybe you'll like them too. 
and he's uh, been a, just a joy uh, um, to deal with. And uh, that's it. You'll see this more when I begin pruning it. These, these, uh, this, the Lilliput variety is very exciting because it grows pretty quickly. Now you can see I'm getting some bark on there, uh, kind of already on some of them. And uh, it is a very fun variety to work with. And so we'll do some pruning, which so this, you know, I'm basically just going to grow this in and just kind of evolve these trees. I initially was having the, um, you know, encourage them to grow sort of away from the rock like you'd see in nature. And, you know, I'm just having some fun with it. It looks like this one might need a little more water. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that is DJ2. Uh, thank you. Have a great day.